Ever since I made that video on NTRHR a while back, I've gotten a lot of comments and feedback with other people's experiences using it. But one comment in particular stood out to me in regards to feature changes and additions and just overall menu changes that occurred since the video was uploaded, which is true. NTRHR did get a lot of improvements and additions since that video in the form of pre-release versions and yesterday as of recording this video, a new public release on its GitHub repository. These changes are pretty significant and does enhance the overall experience you're going to get out of it. So without further ado, let's dive into these brand new features that NTRHR provides. Let's get the boring bit out of the way first. The download and setup process is the exact same as it was in the previous video, so I'm not going to bore you with that here. NTR Viewer HR also has a new version as well, which does have a bunch of new features and enhancements, which I highly recommend you get if you plan to use this version. Once installed and running on your system, things get interesting when you open the X and Y menu. You will notice the placement and naming of options on the menu are different, as well as seeing some new options as well. We'll go over all of these now. Most of these options, however, are the same and serve the exact same purpose. Quality is self-explanatory. You change this depending on the game and connection environment. NTRHR uses MJPEG compression for its output. Priority screen tells NTRHR what screen to put more effort into encoding. Most games use the top screen for everything, but a handful of games like Tomodachi Life will mostly use the bottom screen. Priority factor determines how priority the top or bottom screen is. If you set this to 1, both screens are equally prioritized. Otherwise, the higher this number, the lower FPS the non-prioritized screen will be. Setting this to 0 will disable the non-prioritized screen from being rendered altogether. Bandwidth limit is also self-explanatory, I always leave this at 20 megabits per second. And the viewer IP and port are self-explanatory as well. Now the reliable stream option is something special. If you plan to use older software like Snickerstream or KitKat, leave this off. If you're using NTR Viewer HR, set this on as this will make the stream more stable. You'll also see an on plus delta option but we'll get to that in a minute. In advanced options, you'll see the encoding cores and priority has moved here. I say leave both of these at their defaults. Chroma subsampling changes how the images are encoded. I also leave it at the default, but feel free to mess with that should you want to. Back to the main menu, there's also a plug and loader menu. This was present on NTRHR before as well. Here you can disable loading of NTR plugins if you only need the screen streaming component and enable compatibility settings if some of your plugins are having issues. Also on the main menu, you have options for an NFC patch for some games like Pokemon as well as disabling the face tracking 3D or new 3DS models which can help with performance. NTR Viewer HR also has some new features mainly in the form of upscale filters that you can use to tweak the image quality a little bit as well if you're into that kind of thing. Now onto that delta image encoding option. Delta encoding is done differently from normal encoding. Instead of sending images at the same quality, Delta encoding allows it to change the quality on the fly depending on what's going on in game and your connection environment to prioritize frame rate. This quality switching will happen regardless of the quality level you set. Delta will completely ignore any quality level you set here. Here's an example of the encoding in action on Mario Kart 7. Notice when I'm standing still, the image looks nice and crisp, but when I start moving, the quality starts to drop a little bit. It's doing this to prioritize a smooth image. Here's another example with Animal Crossing. Notice the sharp pixels around the villager's hair, but when I start moving, it goes blurry. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Sorry that this video is rather shorter than usual. I wanted to get this video out quickly to cover this new update. This was originally going to be released when these were as pre-release versions, but it so happens the new public update came out while I was working on this video. So yeah, that's about it for now. See you next time. Bye.